today I'm going to show you how I did this DIY. I had these spaces that I was actually going to throw out. I had them in the garbage and then I noticed that I needed an umbrella stand. So I went back into the garbage and I took them out um, because I saw a lot of DIYs that people did with vases. And the good thing about vases is that, um, you know, the glass one is that they're not going to get damaged with the water from the umbrella. I saw some people using cardboard and some people actually use like the quackers, cylinder boxes. But I am going to be using a cylinder from a champagne that we had at home and I just took it out and I'm using the cylinder. I'm going to be using E6000 as well as hand glue to glue it together. I want everything to be really sturdy. So I always use a little bit of 6000 on almost everything I do. I must mention the reason why I'm doing this one taller is because I have a taller umbrella. As you can see here, I'm putting a little bit of E6000 and then I'm going to be applying hard glue to the places where I do not put E6000. And the reason why I'm putting E6000 at first is because the hard glue dries super fast. And then I'm going to be putting hard glue again um, after I place the cylinder on top of the glass. I'm putting it outside again just to add some reinforcement. While the tall one dries, I'm going to be working on the second um, umbrella stand that I'm going to be making and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put hard glue at the beginning of the rope. I'm going to be putting E6000 all throughout the bottom of the base just because I feel like it might be dash easier at the bottom and then throughout the top as I'm putting the rope on the rest of the base, I'm just going to put a little bit of E6000 on some spots. Adding the hard glue ensures that the rope is not going to move because the E6000 doesn't dry fast. So if you don't add the hard glue, it's just going to start moving on you. I'm getting to the end here and again, I'm adding more E6000 to make sure that it's going to last. As well as hard glue so that the E6000 has time to dry. I noticed I was running out of rope and I decided to improvise and paint the glass portion. I got this thing from Walmart a long time ago. I think it was $2 for that can and it has lasted me a very long time. I'm just hoping that it looks good by the time I end. <laughs> After the paint had dried, I started the whole process again, just like I did with the smaller umbrella stand, just using E6000 as well as our glue to do it. I noticed the rope was not going to be enough for the whole cylinder that I had so I decided to um, see like what was the t what was the highest that it was going to go for and then I decided to just cut the cylinder um, up to the length that I had enough rope for. And then again to finish it up the same deal as before, a lot of hard glue especially at the top and a little bit of E6000 just to make sure that it's not going to move anywhere. Let me know what you guys think about this DIY. Let me know how you guys think that it came out. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit like 